Hey, what's up? This is Laid Back Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, and dedicated dad. It's finally here. I know we skipped a week because of the Afrojack vlog last week. Shout out to the top comments of that vlog. Very happy to see DJ TLM himself on the number one position of the comments. Thank you for your views and I'm so happy you watch my vlogs. We got the number two comment from Ravewell and he's just giving us props and well thank you for watching and so happy this vlog got appreciated and that everyone enjoyed it. But I think you'll enjoy this one as well because it's something that has never ever seen before. A professional DJ mixing on a DJ controller, how about that? This was all good fun and thank you for requesting that for me. It was, uh, it was very different than I'm used to. Actually, I have never ever used Serato DJ to, to DJ. And obviously, I have never ever uh, mixed with a DJ controller before. I'm an old school DJ, so when I started, it was all vinyl and uh, crappy turntables. So there might be a couple of hiccups in the vlog. Mind you, it was a learning curve for me. It was a totally different setup. I must say, I had a lot of fun with it. Now, before we continue with this vlog, make sure to like and subscribe already. I have a ton more fun stuff coming up, but let the fun begin right here, right now. Couldn't help but notice just passing by. Thought that we'd be special and I was right. Try a million times and you still wouldn't find Quite the same, same side. side Got no place to run, got no place to hide Everywhere I go, got you on my mind Walk a million miles and still wouldn't find Quite the same side
So this is what you get when you mix vinyl skills with a DJ controller. Bit of a learning curve for me, but so much fun. One thing I thought was very strange is that you have the, the one side with the pitch here and then you have the other side with the pitch on the other side. It doesn't really make sense. I would think, you know, have the setup be as if it's a, a player with a pitch and then another player with a pitch. It was very strange to have a mirror image like that. Threw me off a little bit, but the whole thing was very new for me and I tried my best right here. If you're at home and you own one of these, I think it was such great fun to mix with this. I was actually blown away by how many features there are on this and I think I only scratched the surface of this. If you have any tips or comments for me, make sure to leave them down below. Give me a like and hit that subscribe button as well. Next weekend I have a weekend off, but I'll take you back out to Paris and to Afrojack's birthday party. And the theme for next week is the five common mistakes beginner DJs make. So make sure you tune back in for that. Until then, L's up, race safely, and salute.